Hi, Lynn Zettler here, and today we're still talking about the one-page business plan and what results are you getting. Typically, we can always use better results. And how do we get those better results? That's what we're going to talk about today. Are you? I'm sure you continue to be tired of the same old things happening, right? If the same old thing happens and we're not doing anything different, of course, we're going to get the same results. We want faster results. We want team members who are, are aligned. We want clarity. We want to make sure our team is running on all cylinders. And we want to make sure everyone is held accountable. So today, I'm just going to talk to you quickly about how we focus and track using the one page business plan. We're going to get your team focused and we're going to track results. It's very simple. I know it's not rocket science, but you wouldn't believe what the discipline takes, right? We have to get a written business plan. And why is that? We need a written business plan because when it's written down, it has more weight. It's also a communication tool. People can refer to it. They can go back. They can change it. But at least it's not changing in someone's mind. We're actually being intentional about changing it. So having a written business plan is very important. And of course, just as a reminder, remember it's all on one page, answers five questions very simply. What are we building? That vision statement that's for three to five years out. Why does this business exist? Meaning, who are you serving and what are you serving them? Uh, what will we measure? What are those objectives and goals that you want to reach in the coming year? And how will the business be built? How will you reach those objectives? What are the strategies you're going to use? Along with the action plans that actually outline what work is going to get done in order to reach those objectives. So what do we mean by focus? By focus, I mean everyone, and I mean everyone, knows who, what, and when. They know who's responsible for what, they know what they're responsible for, and they know when they're supposed to deliver. Those are the things that we keep track of very consistently and uh, helps with accountability for sure. And what do we mean by tracking? We mean that everyone is updated on a consistent basis as to the results that we're seeing, right? Everyone is seeing it. It's not just siloed in different departments or different people within a department, but everyone is seeing the tracking so that everyone knows what the process is and what the progress is. So with the one page business plan, it's all about accountability, 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 right? Making sure people are accountable for what they need to deliver. And we know that the next level of success, if we're going to reach success and get rid of all of those issues that I outlined earlier, then we have to have a different discipline. We need the next level of discipline to make that happen. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to get the same results. So remember the methodology, the five simple questions, the vision, what are we building? That's three to five years. Mission, why do we exist? objectives. What results will we measure? That's within the next 12 months. Strategies. How will this business be built in action plans? What is the work that we're going to do? The business building projects and programs. And as an overview, just to remind you as well, remember there are always templates. The vision statement clearly outlines what you need to put a vision statement together. The mission statement clearly gives you a great template to work from. Even the objectives gives you examples that you can just pull from and fill in the blanks if you like. As well, we've got great examples of strategies from an existing company that you can capitalize on there as well. And the action plans, remember, they need to be throughout the whole year, not just in one quarter. Now, what I, re what I recommend, I'm going to quickly go back to this action plan. What I recommend is that you look at the plans and the objectives quarterly at least. If you can, I'd look at them monthly depending on how fast your business moves. But if you can pull everybody together to review those things quarterly, that's the key to keeping things very consistent for accountability to remain high and for results to be 
achieved faster. So remember the five questions. We've already gone through them. Very simple. Focus and tracking. That's what's important here. If you want to figure this out yourself, then go ahead and buy the book. It's available on Amazon. You can buy the book yourself. There's The templates are included there as well. Please feel free. I don't get anything extra for, for you buying the book. I just love it so much. If you want more than that, we've also got help for you. So you can also look to us for the workbook and templates and expertise. There's an online tool. There's an accountability process. We even offer coaching, on, ongoing coaching, and more than anything, speed to get you the results that you want. So don't forget, go to coreimpactcoaching.com. There's a free download if you haven't gotten it already. And send me uh, an email at lzettler at coreimpactcoaching.com if you'd like to have a, you know, a, a free consultation to figure out where you are and where you want to be. I look forward to hearing from you, and have a great day.